Happy New Year! It is the first day of 2015. Fox 6 Chief Meteorologist J.P. Dice with you, and we're taking a look at uh, Chelsea right now. This is the live view from Boardman and Carr, our Fox 6 Sky Vision camera there. 3.36 this afternoon. The rain has not made its way into Shelby County. It's getting there. Overcast skies. Temperatures right now in the upper 40s and the lower 50s area-wide. There's the rain that we're tracking. Big system we've been looking at for days. It is going to make for some wet weather, especially on Friday and Saturday, uh, several time frames here that we're particularly focusing in on, and that's tomorrow night. And again on Saturday night, I think we'll see some breaks in the rain on Saturday during the day. We'll see some showers, but it's not going to be nonstop rain. You can see the rain pushing through tonight. More rain out to the west. Some of that rain has been changing over across Arkansas and Missouri and Oklahoma as some wintry precipitation. That's not in the forecast here. It's going to be all liquid because of the uh, temperatures. Temperatures quite warm. Look at that. 9 o'clock tonight, 49 degrees. And then as we get into Friday morning, at 6 a.m., we'll see some heavy rain down to the south some rain to the west, temperatures warming up into the mid-50s as we get into the afternoon. Widespread rain by Friday night. If you have Friday night plans, it's going to be wet. Saturday morning should be dry. Birmingham Bowl uh, kicks off at 11 a.m. Uh, at Legion Field. I don't think it's going to be a washout. I think we'll see some rain, maybe a passing thunderstorm, but most of that rain, as you can tell, is going to be coming through later in the day. The line of storms back out to the west of us by around noontime. You can see our temperature in Birmingham, about 62 degrees uh, at lunchtime, and those temperatures may very well, in fact, this particular model, warming those temperatures up into the upper 60s. Enough instability to worry a bit about the possibility of some strong to severe storms, mainly in our westernmost counties. Another thing we're worrying about is flooding. Look at the predicted rainfall here by Sunday morning. Over two inches of rain for Birmingham, two inches for Huntsville. The reason we're concerned about that is because the ground's already saturated. We have had one weekend after another with very heavy rainfall, so we're going to be looking at the possibility, number one, of some, some river flooding and also some localized flooding by Saturday night and Sunday. This is a very wet system. And uh, Storm Prediction Center, you see the kind of the darker green area there. We're watching our southwestern counties for a threat of severe weather. This is going to be on Saturday. This is our day three outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. That green encompassing Utah and Marion and Demopolis, really areas south of Interstate 2059 and west of Interstate 65. So that's what we're watching for Saturday. Main threat, though, really is going to be some heavy rain, and we'll have some breaks in that rain as we head through the day on Saturday. Saturday night, all bets are off. It is going to be a wet night. The bottom line here, a soggy forecast. Storms in the forecast on Saturday, watching for the possibility of severe weather, and then sunny and colder next week. We're going to be looking at morning lows around freezing and below with lots of sunshine. We'll update you on the big picture. We'll show you the seven-day forecast. We'll do all of that coming up on Fox 6 News. Hope you have a great new year, and uh, thanks for watching us and trusting us with uh, your weather information. We'll see you later.